Hey guys, this is Chad again for Outside Supply and Rolling with the Whitney's. Hey, I've been trying to do a nice video series right here on the MPPT40 controller from GoPower. This thing's uh, great. It's the most efficient controller uh, for charging 12 volt batteries, which is really what GoPower f focuses on. In this video, I hope to cover um, a, a segment. This is where the dip switches are. I hope to go into great detail to, to how to set those so that you get the proper operation for what you're trying to achieve. All right, so now we're looking at the front of it. You'll notice there's a, a few ports, but uh, this is something uh, that is gonna need to be set up when you get your uh, 40 amp controller. And that is gonna be these dip switches here. Now, dip switch uh, number three is used for the master slave setting. So this controller can be stacked. In other words, you can take two 40 amp controllers and turn it into one 80 amp controller where one of the controllers is acting as the master and the second controller is acting as the slave. So when you have the master uh, pin, it's gonna be pin number three. This is the only thing this one does is it controls the master slave setting on it. So the master is gonna stay down. So it's gonna be in the default position is when you get the controller, it should be, pin three should be down or off. And so that would be set as the master. And then the slave would, uh, so if on your second controller, you would push that pin up on pin three. So you would, what you would do is just like here, you can come in here with a pencil and just push it up. And once you push that up, now this controller would be set to slave and the other one to master since it's the only one we're going to do and push it back down. All right, so now this is a um, uh, the part where most people are going to do it. Unless you're stacking the controllers, pin three is really not relevant. It should be down, and that should be its default position. Now, the next setup is pin one and two, which controls the battery type. Now, the controller will do a, a equalization mode, and what that will do is it will auto equalize the uh, batteries to once a month, you know, it charges them at a higher voltage and that uh, gets rid of any excess sulfation on the, uh, on the batteries. So, but, so to set this into, well, factory default, all three switches are off. So that means also switch one and two are off. And switch one and two being off uh, would definitely be the setting uh, for AGM. So this would be your absorbed glass mat. And I'm looking here, let me show you this uh, manual here because this is important. This is the charging profile you'll see on it. Um, now one of the things you won't see, and, and I'll go into this a little bit early in this video, is you will not see that there's a lithium profile. There are two settings that you'd probably use for lithium, either uh, gel or AGM. Uh, and part of that might be closer to your battery. Look at this charging profile to which one fits it. Uh, they said it really depends on the type of lithium battery you have, so check some of the specs. But most people are, are using uh, the AGM setting. Um, but uh, gel might work better for some batteries, but uh, not flooded. So uh, as you can see the difference uh, of the different batteries, but let's look specifically at AGM. We're 14.4 volts and uh, plus or minus, I think one tenth of a, one tenth of a volt to two tenths of a volt. Um, and that is gonna be for AGM. Now that setting again is all of these dip switches down. Now if you put both of these dip switches up, like this here, I'm gonna go ahead and make that change. It's a little hard to do and hold the phone, but here we go. So this is uh, dip switch two. This is gonna be for the gel setting. So dip switch one, dip switch two up. And again, the third switch is only about master slave condition for uh, stacking the controllers. Uh, so that would be for gel. Now to do a flooded battery, which would be like your deep cycle marines, your vented batteries, uh, you'd push dip switch one down. So when you push that down, this would be, again, the configuration for a flooded battery. Now you wouldn't, again, you would not want to use that setting on lithium batteries. That charge profile would be there. Uh, the default way, again, it's going to come. It's going to come pre-configured for AGM and in a master configuration. You're going to get it with all three dip switches down. So one more view of this. You'll notice the different batteries, uh, voltage of charge in the gels are going to be 14.1, AGM is 14.4, again 14.4 on flooded, but there are some uh, equalization charge differences that will happen on flooded that don't happen on other batteries. Um, but uh, so 
I wanted to take this time because this is something a little a little different uh, if you've had some of the controllers that haven't had these settings on them so I thought it important to take a few minutes to explain how to properly set the dip switches on a uh, new go power MPPT 40 controller and uh, I hope this has been a helpful video uh, again, my name is Chad at Outside Supply, and uh, my personal blog is rollingwiththewitneys.com. So thanks. Give us a call if you have any questions. My number is 866-574-4983. Uh, extension 1, you'll either get me or one of my team. And uh, if you have any other uh, questions, you can also email me at chad at outsidesupply.com. Thanks, and uh, hope to see you soon.